Although designer Walter De Silva could be accused of playing it safe with the second generation TT shape, the closer you examine the detailing, the more you realise what a handsome car this is. Pretty important that. Looks were, after all, what sold the original version of the TT. Just as important was the need to expand the range for corporate users with diesel and to make much more of the TT's reputation as a driver's car, something for which the original version was never really renowned. Diesel, the TT can nowadays do, thanks to the availability of a 2 litre 170 PS TDI unit from the corporate parts bin. And the general TT driving experience? Well, I'll come to that, but if it's as good as Audi say, then the 270 brake horsepower TTS model should have the power to exploit it.